This is the Knucklehead Northern locomotive servicing area. We have operating lights over the fueling pad inside the building. We have operational roll up doors. Take a look at that. Got room here for about 18 locomotives. All the turnouts are Atlas. Number fours, controlled by tortoise switch machines. Here are my lube and fuel oil center. Light rate, light repair shop. All trains on the layout during operating sessions will originate. Power will originate from this area. We'll have the locomotive sets staged in these two ready tracks. When time for departure comes, we have a hostler bring the power out around. You know, join into the lower level. This point down here. There's a five-track staging yard under here. Five complete trains. Longest track is about 30 feet. We have a grain facility here. Two storage tracks. Hold about a dozen or so cars. Maybe a little bit more than that. Another view of the grain facility, staging tracks. Come out here onto the main. We have our frozen food plant with interior storage capacity for three 70 foot cryogenic cars inside, two outside. We have a plastics pellet plant here. Room for three cars on this siding. Over here in the corner, we're working on a concrete mixing plant. Got the pad down. Got the poles in for the chain link fence. Still a work in progress. Construction crews are busy. Rail siding is in place. Room for about a half dozen or maybe eight cement hoppers. The mixing plant under construction. Here's a view on the looking north actually we're looking northeast you can see the three levels 
we have a sub-level staging here is the other end of that staging yard comes around and the main level here and then we have what I like to call the high line up here it's just a shelf along the wall kind of like a display shelf but you can actually run trains on it goes all the way down gonna have a tunnel right here from the main level track to disappear into two tracks here one's gonna go into the tunnel the other is gonna go around the outside of the mountain there there's the high line mountain up there here we'll see the main level sweeping around around behind our steel manufacturing plant here I'm going to call that doll manufacturing. Here the track splits right here. The track closest to us goes up to the high line. The second track is the main level. The third track is a switching branch going off to the caterpillar plant. That's a Peterson Tool and Supply building. It's been modified. It's going to be our Caterpillar manufacturing and distribution. This switch here, off the main level, that track goes down and underneath and around to the staging le level, going down to staging main level right here with this train sitting on it and the track closest to us is the high line making its grade and going up we walk around here a little bit you can see the apparent changes in elevation lower track going down to the staging yards, main level where the train is, and the high line grade going up. So let's follow that around a little bit. Okay, the main line going to the high line curves around. The main level goes underneath this little mountain right here comes out here there's the high line behind it goes along have a little cut right here for my lake bed gonna have a through truss bridge going across here for the high line there's the main line ducking into another tunnel come on through put a little ravine right here so you can see the main line going through there with the high line above it and over here near the entrance comes out of a tunnel with the main line on the main level ducks into another tunnel and this is the track that curves around and comes out that tunnel on the other side here's the high line curving around to this side here's a good view of the three levels sub-level staging main level a high line high line goes all the way around starts coming down great where it joins back into the main level at this point got a switch 
lead going over to our furniture plant. This is the makings of a strip mall under construction. This switcher here is sitting on the lead going to our local yard called Pig's Eye and it has an industry there. And this is going to be a Sony Electronics distribution. Have a little five track yard here, hold a few cars. Our local train will be picking up and spotting cars in this yard. And then at the end of the day, you'll make up a train and take it back down to staging. Here's a project here I've been working on. This little Bachman rail bus. This little guy's got DCC, LED lighting front and rear with the flashing beacon on the roof. We'll go over that at another time. This is the main level town of Lees. As you can see the furniture plant. Got a forklift out here. Building still under construction been casting rocks so we got our rocks here drying and curing getting ready for placement and paint is the main road through town there used to be an underpass right here coming to the outside of the old layout but that's been changed so now it just disappears underneath the track main road we got plumbing supply right here. We have our gas station. We have a automotive restoration business. He's getting a new shop building built in the back. A little fire station. A Greyhound bus station. You can see the strip mall in the background there. Our road's going to curve around, cross the tracks at this point, and then I'll cut a tunnel through here for the road to come underneath the track. Give me a reason to put in another little bridge in this area here. We have an operating drive-in theater, 5-inch LCD TV. It connected to the DVD player in the room along with the other two TVs. There's one back there in that corner. One up here in this corner. When the DVD is playing, this TV here shows the same picture that the other two. And the sound is connected to a surround sound system with speakers underneath the layout. And I have a little residential area here have a church, three maybe four houses, we'll see how much room this one house with the pool is taking up quite a bit of space we'll see how that goes locomotive display storage all DCC equipped some of them have sound give you a quick, quick overview of the whole room this is the Knucklehead Northern Railroad HO scale controlled by Digitrax DCC you can see the speakers we have a sound decoder connected to the surround sound system so those those 15 inch woofers can make that EMD 645 sound pretty good. Parts, workbench. I don't know of anybody who has a nice neat workbench.